In the midst of the dog days of summer, some tech for pet safety. Joining us from Halo Collar is co-founder and managing partner, Ken Ehrman. Thanks for joining us, Ken. Thank you very much for having me, Fred. I really appreciate it. Well, give us some background to start with. What is Halo Collar all about? Sure. So um, I've had a dog my whole life. I'm actually on my fifth dog. Um, and as Cesar Milan might say, you have about seven or eight dogs in your lifetime. Uh, but in any event, I love dogs and I love my dog. And we had the invisible fence at our house uh, and it was great. We would let the dog out. Um, she would be able to you know, run the property and we would feel safe that she wouldn't run away. Um, and my niece had it too. And her uh, dog unfortunately got out of their invisible fence because it's just a wire that is dug around your property. And if they get out of it, they're out. Um, and she was run over and their dog was run over by a car. It was uh, devastating. Um, and I was, my background is I'm a tech entrepreneur. I've been in the industry since I graduated Stanford as an engineer, focusing on tracking very important assets for Fortune 100 companies, mostly for safety purposes. So rental cars, forklifts, tractor trailers, things like that. Um, but after this tragedy happened with my niece's dog, I thought to myself, look, you can get out of a wire, but you can't get out of GPS. So if you just replaced the wire that you had to bury in the property to create this fence with drawing it on your phone, that you could essentially do the same thing, eliminate the installation, eliminate the maintenance, because your dog wouldn't know the difference uh, between a wire causing uh, the beep or a GPS boundary being crossed. So it's really just applying technology that's been out there for so many different things uh, to a new application like protecting dogs. Interesting. And how is it uh, controlling the dog? You mentioned beeps. Is it doing anything else? Or Yes. So it basically works. The fundamental premise is the invisible fence has been around, like I said, for 25 years, working uh, for containment purposes. And what it does is you the first fundamental thing you do, this is the collar, is you, uh, and here is a speaker. So there's a speaker so that sounds can come out of the collar. Um, again, it's a pin for pin conceptually replacement to today's invisible fence that's been working for 20 years. So the way the invisible fence works is when you get near the boundary, it beeps. If you continue um, out of the property, it will escalate to static or, well, in their case, a very, uh, you know, essentially a static shock to help your dog realize that this is not safe to leave the boundaries. So in our case, what we do is essentially the same thing, except we have three different levels, but you can also never get out of it. So you can't just cross the wire. So what you do is you train the dog that beep means fence. And that's the warning. So when your dog gets near the fence, it hears the beep. Um, as you could see, by the way, this is my dog's collar. I don't even use the static because my dog understands beep means fence. But if your dog continues after the beep moving forward, so if they hear the beep and they stop or turn around, the collar does nothing. The, you know, the dog uh, knows that that's the boundary and they're safe. If they continue to move away from safety, it will escalate to a boundary. Now you can set the boundary to be anything you want. So you could set that to be a vibration. You could set that to be a different sound, a dog whistle. We have like 40 or 50 different sounds built into the collar, all from Cesar Milan. I, we didn't talk about him, but Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer, he's our partner. Um, he's really the brains, the dog brains behind the product. I mean. I had a lot of experience in tracking assets like forklifts and rental cars and trailers, but I didn't know very much about dogs other than my own experience. So I knew that's why I'm co-founder that I needed another co-founder who was a dog expert. Um, and I don't know if you've seen it, but he has a new show that's on national geographic right now called better dogs, better humans, actually better humans, better dogs. It's sure. amazing. I mean, what he, he turned, a pit bull that was like a mean pit bull that this family, the father had a brain tumor, 
Uh, and it was just, the dog was impossible. It was biting, it, like, it was impossible for their family to keep this dog. And Caesar turned it from a uh, kind of violent pit bull into a Caesar, Caesar detection dog for the father. I mean, it was unbelievable. He went from a pit bull to a service dog. I mean, it was amazing. So Caesar really understands dogs. And what he has told us is that a few things. Dogs will learn to be, sounds mean something. So in other words, I don't know if you have a dog, but the doorbell, when the doorbell rings in my house, every single time my dog knows that there's someone at the door and they bark, you know, even if they're eating dinner, even if my dog's eating dinner, if she hears that doorbell, she will immediately bark because there's that association. Someone's at the door. So basically what the halo collar requires is two more associations from a default standpoint. And he helped, you know, plan these, but basically one is beep means fence. So um, I wonder if I can, I, I don't have it turned on right now that I could play it for you. Uh, actually, I'd have to, use, my app is on my phone, so I can't really do it at the same time. But if I would walk to it, it would beep. Just, you know, beep, 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 beep. Basically, that's what it does. And your dog knows that means fence. So on our website, if you go to halocollar.com, at the bottom is a little video of my dog actually using the collar where I was at someone else's house. I threw the ball past the fence line. You hear it right on the video, hearing your, my dog hearing the beep and stopping uh, in his tracks because she knew uh, that that was the fence. So basically beep means fence. That's the fundamental premise that you train your dog. And then- And, and you can create that fence wherever you happen to be using the app. Yes, wherever you go. I mean, it's, you can take your dog to the beach. You can take your dog to the park. You can really, I mean, again, going back to Caesar, he's like, dogs need to be a able to explore. Otherwise they're gonna, uh, you know, eat your couch and they're going to act out and they need time to be a dog. Like, you know, and he says, birds fly, fish swim, dogs need to be a dog. So, and part of that is off leash. And, you know, normally dogs are either in a house or out on a leash. And that's really not uh, the best for them. Sure. So tell us uh, how this works. Is there, uh, there's obviously the, the collar that people need to purchase. Is there a subscription fee? Is it also tracking the dog? Yeah, so basically this is in a category, the halo collar is really in a category by itself. It's essentially a cell phone for your dog. So why does your dog need a cell phone? Well, you can track your dog anywhere in real time. So the same way you can look at your life 360 for your kids, which my wife does all the time. I do a little bit less often. You can see exactly where your dog is at all times. Not like some other tracking products that are focused on conserving the battery. We don't have a battery issue because the battery lasts one day. So what that means is just like if Apple watch, you're going to get one amazing day out of the product. And at the end of the day, you put it on the charger. You're supposed to take even the invisible fence. You take it off at night. So there's no difference because of the uh, static uh, points. If you have those, if you do want static, by the way, just so I can show you, what it looks like. Um, this is what they look like. And you just put them in place of these white pieces. And basically, if your dog goes out of the fence and it escalates to an emergency, it can escalate to static at a level that you set, by the way. So you decide how uh, you want it to be. But the point is, is it's an emergency. So you're not going to do anything to hurt them. This is Compared to, for example, I'll try to put two points about the static. One, when you take your dog out for a walk, if you have them on a leash and they have a running start and you hold them back, you're putting hundreds of pounds of pressure on their trachea. This is nowhere near as that. It's an instant that gets your attention and it definitely doesn't hurt no matter what level it's at. Um, it's already been certified and approved by veterinarians. So it never hurts, it just gets your attention. Uh, versus you could actually hurt your own arm as well as the dog's neck uh, with a leash. So it's definitely um, much better and safer than 
actually having your dog on a leash. I mean, I've, we've had hundreds of examples of people who their dog sees a deer and pull, my mom got pulled over and separated her shoulder, but my dog, which uh, by the way, my dog, I think is the most well-trained dog and it still happened when she saw a deer. Sure. So the tracking, how does that work? If, if by chance the dog ignores all of this and you don't know where it is, you're able to see okay. on your phone where the dog is? You see exactly on the phone where your dog is in real time on a map, exactly like Life 360. So that's when it'll start using the cellular capabilities. So inside of here, cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So when you're around your dog, it's going to be sending data to your app by Bluetooth. If you're not near your dog, but your dog and you are in your house, you'll use Wi-Fi. And if you're out um, in the world, you use cellular. But in any case, you're going to be able to have a real-time connection at all times with your dog. Let's say, for example, this just happened to me the other day. I took my dog for a hike. The other main feature of the product is not just the fence, but the whistle. So the, the fence is the beep. Beep means fence. You set the perimeter in the app. You and your dog gets to that perimeter, it's going to hear a beep. If they stop or turn around, it's going to stop. The second main feature is a whistle. And again, I use this all the time. So when I take my dog for a hike, I um, will, the collar will be on my dog and I will leave her off leash so she can run ahead. But let's say there's another few dogs coming down the path the other way. My wife doesn't like that. They're on a leash. Your dog should be on a leash. So if I, when I hit the whistle button, my dog comes right back to me every time, which by the way, when I used to call her name, if I would say Reese's come, she would come maybe 30% of the time, maybe. But with the whistle, she comes every time for a few reasons. One, I trained her on that. So I went through the training, hit the whistle, gave her a treat, hit the whistle, gave her a treat. If you do that enough times, they're gonna learn whistle means come back. So it's specific purpose. When you use their name, and this is what Caesar explained to me, the reason they don't always miss when you use their name is because you use their name for 15 different reasons. You know, Risa is good girl, or Risa is come over here, or whatever it's going to be. So they don't know necessarily why you're saying their name. So that's why the whistle um, is the best way to get your dog's immediate attention. Um, so when I take her for a hike, if she's wandering off past the point where I feel like comfortable with it, I hit the whistle button, she comes right back to my side every single time. I mean, it's really amazing. So now you're out with something that you're calling Halo OS 2. What is, yes. What's the difference? What's new here? So we've gotten so much feedback from our customers over the last year about how to make it better and more um, exciting and useful. So I'll give you an example of one of the elements that are pretty amazing. This is called a Halo Beacon. I don't know if you could see it. Uh, but basically, it's just a... You know, from a technology standpoint, it's a little Bluetooth beacon. Um, but what's great about it is with the collar and the intelligent collar, you can program them so that at any range, when your collar comes into that range, it will act just like the fence. You'll get the beeping. So your dog knows, don't go there. So with OS2, you're getting all these different beacon capabilities that you know, for example, uh, we've had customers use it to keep it all, their dogs off of, you know, out of certain rooms, like their dining room. They had a you know, beautiful dining room out from going upstairs, uh, from going into a baby's bassinet or near a baby's bassinet. So this was it. This was an interesting Caesar story. I'll give you just uh, because I was he was training um, Russell Wilson and Sierra's dog. And it was a Great Dane, and they were very worried about their dog being near their baby. And what Caesar said, and they actually had a handheld remote type of thing, um, but the problem was that only works when you're there. So that left them pretty uncomfortable. So this does the same thing. You put this beacon in the bassinet, you don't have to be there hitting a button, your dog will hear that beep. But what I was gonna say about that that was so interesting, was when you have a baby and you have a dog, 
and the baby comes into the house, and this is what Caesar was explaining to me. If you get nervous every time your dog is around the baby, your dog will feel that. The dog, your dog can tell that you're nervous or tense in certain situations. And if it's always when the baby is around, your dog will blame the baby. Oh, the baby is bad. My, ner- my owner always gets upset and nervous when the baby is around. So that just continues to make the problem worse. So what's great about the beacon is you can keep the dog away from the baby without it being your personal, your, it has nothing to do with you. So your, your dog will not get any negative feelings towards the baby. Someone else had a very good idea for the beacons too, which is some people have two dogs. And when you have two dogs, sometimes one dog eats the other dog's food. So you could put the beacon next to the bowl uh, so that one dog can go there, but program it so the other dog can't go there. So people are coming up with all these great ideas all the time. um, And that's all part of Halo. So, you know, our technology is going to continue to evolve. OS2, another big feature that we just added to OS2, which is amazing, is when you think of a GPS product, it needs access to the satellites. So that's what that means, GPS, Global Positioning Satellites. And what's amazing is when this collar, this little collar on Earth, hears those satellites up in the air, um, it determines based on triangulation exactly where the dog is to within two or three feet. It's amazing. But the problem with it is when you're in the house, you don't really hear the satellites that well. But when you go outside of the house, you want it to be accurate instantly. You don't want it to take two minutes for it to pick up all the different satellites and figure out your location. So, you know, one of the elements of most other GPS products, if you think about them, Fitbits or golf cart tracking devices or, you know, telematics for trucks, they're almost always outside, at least when they're doing their job. So they always have access to the GPS satellites. For us, we had a unique challenge, which is when you're in a house or in a building, you can't hear them. So with OS2, what we did is we added the ability to wirelessly download every single day mission critical satellite data that is published by the uh, GPS manufacturers that the second your collar goes outside now, it can be accurate, which is amazing. So now it's accurate. We called it like instant fix technology, but with OS2, the GPS accuracy is just massively improved because we do those daily downloads. Terrific. Are there different size collars for, for different size dogs? So it's flexible just for that purpose. So my dog is about 50 pounds and this is the collar strap size that she needs, but it's really about your dog's neck size. You can have an extra small. You can kind of see or envision how small this would be. I don't have anything to put it next to to compare it to. But to make a long story short, if your dog is about 20 pounds or more, it will work. For smaller it's really dogs, about the neck size, by the way. Right. For, so for smaller dogs, neck. 15 or 10 pounds, you don't wouldn't be able to use this? I mean, we've had many people do it. So, you know, we've had people use it on 10 pound dogs successfully. I was always, because it weighs about a pound. It's surprisingly light, but I wouldn't recommend it. We, you know, it's not, we are going That's not what the OS2 is really about making the product work amazing in all these different use cases, but we are going to be working on the next generation collar that's going to be smaller. Um, That'll probably be another year though, I would say. Interesting. So how does pricing work? Tell us about the the cost of this and subscription costs. Okay. So it's a, we've been kind of in this introductory phase for the last year because we shipped about 25,000 collars over the last year. We've learned all the things that we need to improve and fix to get it operating correctly and to get you know, everybody to give us a five-star review, essentially. That's what's in OS2. So with the OS2 release, we are now selling at our original retail price of $1,000, $999, um, which by the way, is significantly lower than the invisible fence. So if you've ever looked into buying the invisible fence or any uh, similar product, the cost to get it installed, to get your dog trained 
and to get it up and running is at least two to three thousand dollars. So from a cost standpoint, when we were designing the halo collar, we knew we needed to be less than the invisible fence, but give you all the capabilities of the invisible fence plus more. So in addition to just the invisible fence, training, indoor protection, beacons, all these other, you know, real-time tracking, all these other capabilities. So it's less than the invisible fence, which is two to 3,000, it's a thousand, uh, but way more capable. Cause you can also not only, uh, it's not just one fence, you, know, you buy the two to $3,000 invisible fence, and you move and it's gone. And you're not going to put a two to three thousand dollar invisible fence um, into a rental apartment. You're not a rental house. You're not going to take it with you to the beach. You're not going to take it. You can't take your dog with you on vacation. You can't use it at the office. So um, we spared no expense in designing the product because we knew we had a, we could still be you know a, a premium product, like a nine hundred ninety nine dollar product, and still be less than the competition, which is, you know, like no comparison, really. Now, is there a subscription as well? Oh, yes. The connectivity? Subscription. Uh, yes. So there's three levels of subscriptions. There's the basic one, which is really the fence and unlimited cellular data. So you can track your dog unlimited lifetime as long as you continue on the subscription um, over cellular for about $5 a month per collar. Um, for $10 a month per collar, you get like all the amazing features. You get not just the fence, you get beacons and training and fence sharing and fences within fe all these amazing capabilities that we're coming out with are on the silver level. And then for gold, which is $30 a month, you get live training from not just your local trainers that you might have but Caesar Milan worldwide certified trainer. So sometimes even Caesar. So we have basically access to trainers on a regular basis, live and recorded, almost like the Peloton for dogs, for dog training, that's the gold service. So if you want that, you can be on gold. If you wanna be on silver, you get all these amazing features. And if you just want the basic plan and unlimited cellular, you're uh, less than $5 a month. And can people who might want the training for, I don't know, three months or, or something like that, be able to go with the gold plan and then move down if they don't need the training any longer? Absolutely. You can be on gold plan as often as you want or as little as you want. You get a first free month of gold, by the way, when you buy the product. So you get to experience what gold is like. Um, but beyond that, you know, it's our job to keep you wanting gold. So we have to give you great content, whether it's, you know, Caesar himself coming on there or uh, dog comedians coming on there or dog trainers coming on there. We want to keep you engaged so that you want to stay on gold. So the onus is on us to provide content that you're going to want to continue to use. So if you don't, we don't, wouldn't want you to buy it. Terrific. So for more information and maybe to purchase, where should people go? Uh, thank you very much to go to uh, halocollar.com, H-A-L-O, collar.com. H-A-L-O, collar.com. Ken Ehrman, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you. It was great meeting you, Fred. <laughs>